tournaments. My did, you say, did you say beer tournaments? No, bigger tournaments. Oh. Bigger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kalanzu okay. also farms beer tournaments oh. because he does not indulge with the rest of us. That handshake but. was something. <laughs> yeah. Okay. God, look at, forward to look this. at that, that Kyle grin right there. <laughs> what a cutie. <laughs> I didn't right. see much of my case. Is, is he active right now? Uh, he said that he took a little bit of a hiatus um, before Genesis, but he's, he's kind of been going to stuff since then. So, you know, we haven't really had a whole lot of big tournaments since Genesis, so. Here he is. Starting on Battlefield. Uh, oh. oh. We can't bear. That's, okay. that's juicy. I mean, yeah. You know, yeah, getting weak hit into an up smash like weak nair. That combo looks really tilting and devastating. Right. To me. It's like maybe you didn't even mean to hit that part of the move, but it's still just good, you know? It still just got me. Yeah, I'll be honest, I kind of associate it with S Bat. It seems like one of those things that like gives you a lot for not very much work. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I think other people might say is kind of his playstyle though. I don't think I totally agree. Uh, so Mike is starting off really strong. I think that, like I said, playing against him as a slow character is just really frustrating. Huh? That's a good edge guard, but he probably tried to mid shorten knowing Mike yeah. is, but he did not. He was one of the first guys to really popularize mid shortening in SoCal, along with West Balls and uh, Connor the Kid. Cool. He's gonna work out of the corner here. Uh, yeah, so they're just gonna, like they're gonna do this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> Good re grab. This is a nice punish. Oh, oh my god, he just goes yeah, and he's out of there. To do that? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't know. Try to shine. Oh, I don't know about grabbing there. I feel like he could just up smash his ass. Yeah, oh, I was gonna say, just get out of there. He's, right. He like missed his opportunity. Against Peach, you really have to uh, commit or just disengage altogether. I think Hax is the only player I've really seen like be able to successfully like cover all of people's options sometimes. Oh my god. And getting hit by that fair feels so bad, it's so slow. 14 frame startup. Yeah. Yeah. The whole big swing. Oh. <laughs> he does it again. Oh, yeah, see Mike Mike gives like a kind of a shamed look right there. Oh, that was a good angle. I I will be honest, I think Mike Hayes has the best angles in his You there. think yeah, so? I really I've, what? He's one of the happened? hardest people to ledge guard of anyone I've ever played. All right, uh, Webs, Webs is, is back, back, but that is still not a Peach player. Or whatever. Oh, no Falcon? <laughs> Shame. <laughs> he's doing pretty well, <laughs> yeah. Mike Hayes' Falcon is the only Falcon I've ever seen PC drop, so that's a thing. <laughs> With that, that gimped walk that Falcon has. <laughs> yeah, that's actually got to be pretty difficult to do a PC walk. With yeah, that. his... his Walk advances him in like a non-linear fashion. Stuttered. Oh, yeah. So Mike is, hasn't been able to close out any of those ledge guards with like shine spikes or anything. That's a pretty big deal. You really don't want to let Kalamazoo get the chance to open you up. Oh, oh he gives the DI slightly better. He would have Ooh, headsets off from Keizu. Yeah, oh. adaptation, huh? When I was playing on stage, the in-game sound was not working, so I wonder if it is for them. Probably is because they're both wearing them. Mike's got some. Beam. Mike's got some like. Uh, oh, Sennheiser or something. Oh, that was so close. So close. Yeah, Mike Hayes actually has the most try-hard uh, meta for sound I've ever seen. He he brings a sound setup where he both has earbuds and like that are sound canceling for in-game sound, and then he has another headset on top of it with white noise. To cancel out no way! Sound. White noise. Yeah. <laughs> it's like an air He's traffic also controller. I'm at Damn, See Jack just it. Jack just it kicked yeah. you out. That's cool. I really need to practice doubles. Me and my teammate were playing off. So. God. <laughs> Thank God. Good luck, Nick. Also, Mike Hayes is more pixelated than Kalamazoo right I was now. gonna say he looks and like the Lego not just version on the of camera, Mike Hayes. That's in real life. <laughs> yeah, also, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Like trying to play it safe. Oh, oh no, that's, not that's good. exactly <laughs> what I was. <laughs> right. yeah. That's the least oh, he good thing. The oh, this is dangerous. Damn, he didn't even pull a turn up. He just floated out. Okay, the camera is kind of high. I was not sure what sweet spot was going to happen. Oh, he missed the walk off. He tried to run off the platform. Sharks. Oh. oh. 
Nah, that's it. Man, if you're a Mike, F Mike Hayes fan, you hate to see that happen. Yeah, big time. One down smash just swings the momentum of the whole game. That's just kind of how, like, Peach Fox goes, though, dude. Peach punishes Fox so hard off of, uh, potentially, off down smash because you miss that tech so easily if and you take an extra hit or yeah. two. And then dash attack, tech chase, perhaps regrab, platform follow-ups. Armada's shown us all of the, the book before, how that story goes. Damn, Mike was kind of, like, up that whole game, too. Yeah, for sure. He was, he was up pretty clean two stocks to one. A little bit late on that, but Kalamazoo holding shield, so the grab is still going to work. <laughs> oh, that was good. I like the wait by Mike going to the top platform and waiting. Almost got it. Nice. Nice. Didn't have to take the trade, but, you know, yeah. it works. You got him. Get the edge guard. At 1-0, whatever. Peach is already going to die from up smash anyway. Right? Oh, that's scary. Yeah, right. That, that uh, especially on Battlefield, is a spot you don't want to <laughs> yeah. be in for sure. You get, you s slip off the edge of this box and you hold in and you're just dead. Right. You're yeah. underneath the ledge. Just wait till <laughs> you'll get up. He's <laughs> on it. Zoo playing with his wire a little bit. It's, he's, he looks like he's having a hard time getting comfortable. Yeah, he's Take got the, the headset back on, by the yeah. way. Yeah. So, really unsure. This reminds me of when HBox used to, like, Stand up mid set, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Change his uh, his uh, approach to the game visibly. Dude, great job covering shortens. Good to go high. Yeah, yeah, that that float. It's good for catching the uh, the immediate side beyond the stage with the nair, and then you still have time to down air if you see that it shortens. So good stuff. Oh. Hmm. I hate that. Doesn't get there. I hate that so much. Yeah, right, any other stage and he's back. Yeah, that's actually a perfect angle on any other stage. Just snap right to ledge. Nice. Has time to jump away there. Not gonna do it quite yet. I thought maybe on the side platform it might, yeah. to be honest. Although, Battlefield's got a pretty damn high ceiling. Yeah, it's it's like only a little bit shorter than FOD, right? Uh, yeah, it's something like that. Actually, it might be taller than FOD, slightly. I don't know. I know it's close. I don't yeah. Don't ask me details. Yes. I don't know. All right. Sharks it. Hmm. Kind of a weird spot for Peach to be in, so good on Mike for going out there, making it happen. Dude, the Fox has to like be aggressive off stage sometimes, yeah, he's gotta at do least. Something. Especially when you're down, right? Yeah, true. But if, the, if you're just letting the Peach, like, you know, mix up floats and change the paras or parasol timings and yeah. stuff, like, you, you have to at least put the pressure on. Damn, he's getting a lot of grabs. Oh, no. Where's he going to go? Straight in. I think he got the jump, yeah. Ooh, mid shorten. I love a good mid short. Yeah, he's gone for it a couple times. That was a tough fight. like steroids right we just gotta like <laughs> we just gotta like enforce it or just let it all happen on some MLB stuff yeah so it's even Mike Hayes trying to hold on to his winner stock life here winner's bracket life excuse me oh I like the drill reset yeah that's sick oh great up to no follow up on the side platform but Yeah, this this off the ledge is rough. Reminiscent now. of uh, game one right now. Yeah. <laughs> positioning wise. <laughs> he finishes hey. it. All right, all right. Kalamazoo. Not pleased. I don't know if he's having an issue. Maybe his cords are tangled. <laughs> he's got the rat nest down there. <laughs> yeah, we've all been there. <laughs> yeah. Four people on a setup, people plugging and unplugging all the time. Yeah. You ever look at your backpack when you get off an airplane? You're just like, Jesus God. Christ, I'm never gonna. Yeah. I'm never gonna get to use my AirPods again. <laughs> They're just gone. <laughs> All right, Dreamland. Probably banned FD. 
Does this make sense? Yeah, so there's a few different, um, like, tra uh, what am I, what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, schools of thought, that's what yeah. it is. When it comes to stage picking for Peach, um, a lot of Peaches, uh, this stage can actually be difficult because since it's so big, you know, Fox can run away. Yeah, Hello. hard to close down. It's the old, uh, I think my favorite subtle commentator meme is saying that Dreamland gives Fox more room to run around. <laughs> That's a good it's one. It's like not as not quite as pervasive as nice back air, but I think it's close enough. Yeah, that definitely could have uh, been a feature on SSB comments. For sure. For sure. Along with um, FD has no platforms. <laughs> all all absolute classic. Smash, <laughs> That's et cetera. A one. Yeah. Oh man. Did you know? <laughs> Did you know? Okay. Uh, yeah, but. Um, what you were talking about with banning FD could potentially be an FOD ban as well. Fox can yeah, move pretty true. pretty decently on, uh, on FD, just depending on the Fox. <laughs> Sends it back. Yeah, I can see Mike <laughs> being a good FD Fox. All right, playing this platform game. Big time. Yeah, trying to. I guess trying to avoid getting crouch canceled. You know, trying to catch the Peach while she's in the air. And he's got her out of crouch cancel percentage now, so we're in business. Very nice little wave land, empty land type of deal. Casey was not ready for that grab. Oh, he was ready that time, though. Big funny. But able to escape on the platform and get back stage control and end the stock. Okay. Mike is so good at edge canceling on platforms. He, he gets out of the corner a lot of times with those uh, top yeah. platform edge cancels, too. A nice, a nice little trick to have in your arsenal, right? Absolutely. Not a super common thing to do, but also pretty safe. Oh, the turn up just barely missed. All right, Heizu holds center pretty convincingly. Wins uh, several neutral interactions in a row. Oh, nice air dodge on the episode, too. Oh, him. Oh, air dodges back down to stage. It's one way to do it. Yeah, Mike's ready for the air dodges, too. He just uh, isn't quite able to get the follow-ups he wants. Not a lot of turn-ups from Heizu, also, if you notice. Yeah. He's just scrapping. Just trying to chase the fox down and catch his, like, his uh, descents from the platform. Oh, the triple oh. there to shine. <laughs> Running out of recovery options. Pretty high, though. Oh, great SDI. That was definitely SDI. Oh, that was so close. Able to jump away. I like that. A little bit of slide off there from the boy. Yeah, everyone's so good defensively these days. Up throw crazy. from characters who used to punish uh, fast fallers on platforms yeah, all the time. you know, and even stuff like punishing shield drop, punishing slide off. Melee never stops evolving, you know? Sam. It's always fresh. <laughs> and then uh, uh, people ledge camp and <laughs> makes you question it all. <laughs> Right, Mike, sticking to the game plan here. Using the space really well. Yeah, this is the situation that Keizu's been really good at uh, not letting him get out of his control, but he's got 50% racked up on him. Ooh, what a tech. Oh, no. You gotta shrink that Fox Shield a little bit more before you get on it with the yeah. down smash, because with good shield DI, that's a wave shine out. Catches him with a back air. No way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that would have been nuts. Very close. Oh, and just floating right outside of the up air range. Stay away. <laughs> Scary Fox, man. Tree. Oh, scary. Yeah. Scary, oh, Mike. Oh, no. Scary. We've kind of seen this story before in this set. He's been up but, every uh, single game. Yeah. When it comes down to the last stock. I like that he's doing the up tilt setup. That's so hard for Peach to punish. Oh, okay, he got out. out of it. Great air dodge from Keizu. He's playing pretty well defensively. Oh, he's, he's gonna so grab. Scary. He's gonna he's grab off that. Grab. Yeah, that you can get a bunch of percentage off this. Mike's gonna DI to the platform. Yeah. Ah, that's it. But Keizu scared us again. Terrifying. Pretty good set.
As the Fox, once you get touched too, if you make that just like one, you miss attack or like you hold down for yeah. one extra hit on down smash, it just becomes so brutal. Very scary. Yeah, that was a that was a game that was one in the margins there for Mike for sure. Yeah, absolutely. What are, uh, closing 